Hello, and welcome to Walking Benji. Today we're going to be doing a review on the headlamp I've been using for a little over a year now. It's the Nightcore NU32. This is the Nightcore NU32 headlamp, and there's Benji, getting in the way as always. It has two buttons on top. This one's for your red light, and this one's for your white light. Once kicks on red light, twice flashing red light, three times off. Do one for your low beam, I believe is one lumen. Medium is 33 lumen. That's 190 lumen, and hold it in, and that gives you your 550 lumen max. That, that, that's your turbo, we'll call it. I think it's called the turbo. It doesn't stay on the turbo for very long. I believe it's like a minute before it starts ramping back to the 190 lumen, which is considered high. If you hold in both buttons, that is your lock feature for like five seconds. And if you hold in the red lamp, red light, it flashes to tell you your percentage. Um, three flashes is above 50%. I believe two flashes is below 50%. One flash is, I believe, below 10%. Uh, this is your charging port. It is a USB B charging port. And it does take several hours for this headlamp to charge from when it's completely dead. Um, at the time of this making this video, on Amazon it is currently $39.95. To purchase this headlamp um, had several of them I bought one a little over a year ago and this button basically collapsed it just kind of like fell down like something broke in it and you could still use it but it just didn't feel right so I bought a second one and I returned it for the warranty um, they do have a two-year warranty on them. And the second one did the same thing eventually. Um, both companies through Amazon, um, one was Edison Bright. I can't remember the second one. But both companies did replace the headlamps. So I still have two good working headlamps. But that is just an issue that I had was, you know, this button collapsing, you know, basically. And uh, I don't know why. The new ones haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it was just a bad batch or not. Now, uh, the one thing I will say about it is, is, it is a really nice headlamp. It works really well. Um, I usually only use the 190 lumens. I don't really put it on turbo mode very often. Um, the weight on it, I do believe online it says it's at 3.51 ounces with the headband included and everything else. It's not very heavy. Um, I usually just wear it around my neck. You know what I mean? So I have it if I need it. Uh, it's got a real nice headband on it. You just slide that to, you know, cinch it down. Um, pops in right there, you know, right through these little sliders on there. Really self-explanatory, really nice headlamp. Uh, there's really not much else to say about it. I really do like it, other than the fact that, you know, I had two, two of the buttons collapse on it, but the new ones that they sent me seem to be holding up good, so. Other than that, there's nothing really bad I can say about it. I believe there's a new version of it out now. But don't hold me to that. I, I've seen a bunch of new stuff come out. They haven't got to do much research on it. If you're looking for a good headlamp for just uh, going out walking the dog or at night or um, whatever, it's a good headlamp to have. I do like the, you know, the, the flashing red light feature, being able to put that on at night. Um, even if you can see, it just allows other motorists, you know what I mean, to see you when you're out walking. So I don't usually run lights on the dog. Um, other than that, yeah, it's a good headlamp. The battery seems to last for a while. Um, you get a couple hours out of the, you know what I mean, the, the high mode. Uh, turbo mode, it does, I don't believe it lasts for more than an hour, I believe is what it says on there. But you can uh, you know, look at Amazon, all the information's on one of the pictures. And you can decide for yourself. There's a bunch of different Nightcore headlamps on there. This is the one that seems to work the best for me, and I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.